Welcome to week three, everybody. It is time to get going with another unit in ENG 107. Um, this one's a fun one. We don't have a discussion board this week, so it's a little bit different from the things that we've been doing, um, but I will take you through everything and let you know what needs to be done. Don't forget, of course, that it is... Uh, week three. So there is another, there is a workshop tomorrow night, uh, on Wednesday, I'm sorry, Tuesday evening, um, at 7 PM Eastern. And those are hosted by me. So if you sign in, you will actually see me and, uh, I will be directing it. So, um, if you have any questions, uh, it's a great time to be able to ask questions in person, even if it's on zoom or on, uh, teams. Um, so, Hopefully I will see some of you there. The reminder of course is here. And then in order to get into the workshop, you just click on this link over in the course on the far left-hand side. All right, so let's take a look at unit three. We are talking ideas this week. And as usual, you will want to read through the unit three overview carefully. You will then want to click on the readings and resources folder and go through and read everything and view any videos. We do have a chapter on the academic writing process, and that is the first item. Um, there are some additional chapters on active reading, determining, determining a purpose, and determining what's important. There's an article on um, success skills. It's never too late to learn skills to help you succeed. And another article on learning new skills and why that is important. You are going to be using the APA template again, and we have seen that before. So it's linked here again, um, because this week you for sure will turn in an item that is set up in that APA style. Um, there are also some video uh, videos here about how to um, deconstruct a writing prompt, how to break down and plan uh, when you see an essay, how to be an active reader, et cetera, et cetera. There's a number here. So make sure that you give yourself some time here early in the week to take a look at those items before tackling the rest of the work. Unit three's interactive exercise, of course, will give you additional information and practice specifically regarding writing audience, tone, and purpose. And those are all important things we will talk about tomorrow night at the workshop um, as well. So if you have any questions about those, feel free to, um, to chime in and, uh, and learn more about it there. Uh, unit three's journal is going to be about audience, purpose, and tone. And we don't tend to think about audience, purpose, and tone in our normal everyday lives, but we're asking you to do that. Um, as the last journal, you want to have about at least six sentences, uh, and you can write in your own, you know, first person. This is your own thoughts, obviously, um, and you want to address the following questions. Do you ever think about audience, purpose, and tone when at your job or at home? What is confusing you about audience purpose and tone and what is important about audience purpose and tone? Remember when you are ready to post your journal, you just click on it and you will click on create journal entry. And it looks very much like the discussion board where you'll put a little title in and you'll, you'll type directly in the box. If you want to type in Word and save it and then come in and paste it, that's absolutely fine. Um, it's always a nice thing. I, I do tend to encourage writing in Word so that you can save things so in case they get lost. Um, but so your journal entry will be one of the graded assignments this week. And the other will be the unit three assignment and um, on dis deconstructing a rubric. So we've had rubrics on some of the assignments before, and it is a thing that you will see often in, in higher education. Um, typically, a rubric is going to not only help you understand why you got the grade that you got, but it's also going to give you areas to target for improvement. So this week, you're going to be writing about rubrics. So the unit three assignment is linked right here. In this writing activity, you will create a short paragraph that focuses on specific questions related to rubrics. 
Throughout this class and your time at Post University, rubrics will be used to explain the important requirements of assignments by using active reading strategies, reviewing and deconstructing rubrics. You can gain clarity of what is being asked of you when completing an assignment. And I will tell you that the number one reason that people don't get better scores on things is just because they didn't do what the actual assignment called for. So these are so important. Um, instructions, take a close look at the rubric provided for this assignment at the end of the document. We've seen the, where those are. They live at the bottom of these documents. Um, uh, write a paragraph of at least six sentences about the most important elements of this specific rubric. Address the following in your paragraph, what stood out to you, what was confusing, and what would you grade yourself based on the rubric? You can use the APA template to create your title page. Um, you do not have to have a references page on this assignment because it's just you and the rubric. It's There's no research required. So, um, but you'll notice on the rubric that it does specify the length. It specifies the questions, the three different questions that have been asked. And it does ask if you use the title page. Note that for the title page, it's 15 points. And if you don't have it, it's zero points. There's nothing in between. So it's an important one. Um, APA format, grammar and mechanics. This is a formal writing assignment. So you do want to make sure to polish your writing, use spell and grammar check, use Grammarly, get some extra help, making sure that the errors are all as gone as they possibly can be. Um, and that is not only the rubric for this assignment, but it's also the subject of this assignment. So just as a reminder, in order to use the, the template, um, when you click on this, mine will open in Microsoft Word because I have Word installed on my computer. If you do not have the full version of Word on your computer and you're using th Office 365, which is absolutely fine, you can save this on your computer, go into Word, and then open it from there. Okay. So I showed last week, I've sent out a couple of videos that helped with that sort of thing. But if you need any additional technical help with it, please let me know. I'm happy to help and walk you through it. Um, and of course, you can always attend the live workshop and ask those questions in person. Well, over Teams, but still in person-ish. So that's it. That's it for week three. I will see you back here um, next week week for week four's walkthrough, but also hopefully we'll see some of you in the live session tomorrow night. Um, and then of course that will be recorded and I will share that with you on uh, Wednesday. So take care everybody, have a great week and I will see you soon.